Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well and safe. Topic for today is Amazon Polly, another service from machine learning module within AWS where you can convert your text into speech. You can deploy a high quality, natural sounding human voices in dozens of language. And I'll show you in our demo that what all languages support we have within AWS. In terms of pricing, I would say the free part uh, which basically I prefer when we do the proof of concept and based on that, obviously if we want to integrate this with our application, then we go ahead and do that. So we are getting 5 million character free per month for 12 months. So if you're doing proof of concept, that should be enough for you to show to the management how you can integrate or leverage Amazon Polly as part of your application. The standard format of, uh, you know, the audio file that you get is MP3 and it's very quick conversion I would say that I have uh, interacted with the interaction with Polly was good in my one of my customer requirement how it works so it's a deep learning tech to synthesize natural sounding human speech so you can convert your articles into speech these are the few you know the use cases content creation where as an example RSS feed then lambda gets that uh, article send it to Polly for the conversion into audio file and Polly then send it back to Lambda and Lam for uploading that particular file to S3 bucket. So the storage is S3 and then you can integrate S3 bucket location and whatever the file that you are getting uh, as converted one into MP3 or any other format, then uh, you can integrate with your application. The next use case is the e-learning platform, all the chapters, all the content that is getting prepared that sends to get sent to Amazon Polly and speech files are stored in either Amazon S3 bucket or DynamoDB indexed into Amazon DynamoDB. Then with the help of CloudFront, you can retrieve the JSON speech file from Amazon S3 and output will be like uh, e-learning app receives files from the nearest Amazon CloudFront because see, CloudFront is a CDN network, so obviously it uses the edge location, which is very much faster. So one of uh, the use cases is your e-learning platform. Telephony, where customer calls the call center, basically. Check their uh, bank account as an example, then contact center employee looks for uh, customer account detail, balance and everything, send it to Polly, and Polly then convert that you know text into speech, audio back to the contact center and contact center automated system play the audio response and you get as a customer you get all the responses over there so these are the few use cases uh, which basically it's a common scenario that what every industry is using since it's amazon native and again uh, most in most of my video i have said this if you are heavily centric on amazon web services i would prefer to use the cloud native services Use cases, as you can see, generate the speech into dozens of languages like RSS feed, website and videos, engage customers with a natural sounding voice and adjust speaking style, speech rate, pitch and loudness as well. So we are getting those set of functionalities as well. One part that I want to cover over here is the pricing model. So let's click on pricing model. It's a pay as you go model. Millions of characters per month is free five millions that what we saw and the first page so pricing example is 1000 request 1000 character per request and text length is 1 million character nearly like what 23 hours 8 minutes the standard cost is $4 and neural cost is $16 I'll show you what exactly standard and neural is all about it's in the configuration neural has uh, you know limited set of uh, language support it was there but i'm not sure if something has been done this reinvent so this is first time i'm interacting uh, with poly almost after like six months i would say so i'm not sure what has been modified or anything has been modified or not so i'll share this link you can go through the pricing model and show it to the mo management as well based on that you can go ahead and integrate that service so let me jump to my AWS management console. I'm already in Poly. So if you go to services into the machine learning, drop down, I mean, scroll down and you will see Amazon Poly. Turn text into lifelike speech. Okay. In order to try this, what you have to do, get started with uh, Amazon Poly, try Poly. And here we have two options, engines. These are basically engines, neural, 
produces the most natural and human like speeches and here i believe uh, as you can see now we have a lot of different support but still few of uh, the languages or you know the regions are disabled over here the language i would say if you go to the standard one produces again a natural sounding speech you are now getting so i i believe a few of the options are not visible over here or not supported in standard and few of the options are not supported in neural okay now english language which you can select i'm i'm selecting us and voice female sally then kentra iv depend upon uh, or you can go with the male male voice as well matthew or kevin so let's select sally as an example so my name is sally i will read the text any text for you whatever type over here so let's listen that first hi my name is sally i will read any text you type here okay so that's how uh, it sounds like pure natural right uh, obviously it's an automated voice system so if i change that to male kevin as an example let's listen kevin as well. hello my name is kevin i will read any text you type here so that's a simple conversion of your text into speech there's something called ssml which is basically a speech synthesized markup language which basically allow you to modify the speech output and different stuff over here pronunciation or adding or any specific pause or something like that so for that uh, it basically works on the tagging now if i try to listen uh, let's see how it looks like with ssml we'll wait hello my name is kevin i will read any text you type here okay so it's something similar but again uh, it depends on the tagging that what we get so for example obviously there is a documentation i haven't tried this much but my use case was simple just provide a service for us which converts the text into speech but yeah uh, i i believe uh, you know speech with ssml is beneficial so you can use poly to generate speech either in a plain text or from the document with ssml now if i scroll it down we can use supported we can see supported ssml tag for having a break a pause you can use break then placing a custom tag you can use mark like different different option whispering controlling timber speaking softly so you can use all these tags within your poly just to make sure uh, as per your requirement the application requirement some requ uh, some application required to have a pause right in between so you can use this break tag or specify another language for specific word right so you can use lang as a tag so it's a, it's just something you have to play it around with poly if you are interested in you know exploring this service for your application integrating that and integrating that with your application with all the standard voices what you can do you can save it to the s3 bucket or you can download it so if i click on download i believe it gets downloaded as mp3 format best yeah it's mp3 format so that's how poly looks like that's how we configure it but yeah the integration part i cannot show you because i don't have any application just wanted to show you what how you can use poly so you can write a lot of different paragraphs over here as per the requirement of your application and then download save it to s3 bucket and then from there you can integrate your application you can also do the speech file format settings you can do that based upon what the sample rate you want and let me go back mp3 ogg pcm speech marks so that's one thing customize pronunciation so for that you have to upload lexicons for the customization of pronunciation so i hope this clears a lot in terms of what exactly poly is doing over here and how you can easily integrate uh, not integrate how you can easily configure poly save it to s3 bucket 
wherever file location is within the S3 bucket and call that into your application as part of the integration. Just remember, keep the pricing in your mind while going to the production environment. And uh, based on that, you can just, uh, you know, play around with the services. If you're facing any issue, any concern is there with Polly, just place out a comment in comment section. I'll be there to help you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.